Steve Harris formed Iron Maiden in 1975 and has been their primary songwriter ever since. There are way too many early lineups to cover, but by the time they put out their first demo, the Soundhouse tapes in 1979, Dave Murray and Doug Sampson were in the band with Harris alongside Paul Diano, who was a third singer after Paul Day and Dennis Wilcock, but was the first to sing on a recording. Dennis Stratton came in as a second guitarist shortly after, and Clive Burr replaced Sampson by the time they released their self-titled debut in 1980, which was the first time they debuted Eddie, who's been part of their legacy ever since. The album landed at number four in the UK, and by this point, Maiden were one of the core groups of the new wave of British heavy metal. Killers was the band's first album with Adrian Smith and last of Paul Diano, who was replaced by Bruce Dickinson, aka Bruce Bruce, of the band Samson. The number The Beast came out in 82 and became their first number one in the UK. Nika McBrain joined on drums in place of Burr and appeared on 83's Peace of Mind. This lineup remained for the next few albums until No Prayer for the Dying, which featured Yannick Gers on guitar in place of Smith. After Fear of the Dark, Dickinson left to pursue a solo career and was replaced by Blaze Bailey, who sang on The X Factor and Virtual Eleven. Both Dickinson and Smith returned for 2000's Brave New World, so Bailey was gone, but they were now a three guitar band, and this lineup has remained ever since. Senjutsu is their most recent album, and they still sell out arenas whenever they go on tour.